Though after nearly six hours, an FBI agent took the stand to testify about the tools used to track the cell phone locations of Ronald Anthony Burgos on April 9th, 2018, the day he allegedly murdered Griselda and Dominic Hernandez. Toward the end of day four of the murder trial today, a criminal investigator for U.S. Customs and Border Protection took the stand, or Alex Cano has been following today's hearing, Alex. Blood smeared on a Border Patrol unit and footage grabbed from Father Magnable Park on April 9, 2018 were shown towards the end of day four in the murder trial of Ronald Anthony Burgos Aviles. U.S. Customs and Border Protection Special Agent Adriana Escamilla was assigned in charge of the case. Tasked with finding out Burgos' assignments, duties and routes, he took the day Griselda and baby Dominic were murdered. Escamilla was also tasked with overseeing the evidence gathered, including Border Patrol trucks at the scene. I had the authority to uh, transfer those vehicles to the investigative agency and in, to ensure that nothing was done or altered to those vehicles in my presence. That's what I was there for, to ensure the proper custody and transfer of that evidence to the investigative agency, which was Laredo Police Department. Some of the evidence shown was a Burgos arriving to work on April 9th, getting off his truck and into a work unit. At one point, Burgos is seen taking out an item from his personal vehicle into his work truck. Escamilla told jurors documents from Burgos' work office were also gathered, including some linking Griselda to Burgos. To Ronald Burgos Aviles. And um, with, the, with now on the right side indicating non-custodial parent name Ronald A. Burgos Aviles. Custodial parent name Griselda Hernandez. Texas Attorney General. The jurors saw the child support documents sent to Burgos nearly a month before the murder. Also, the Border Patrol handbook that includes training agents undergo were shown to jurors. Pictures of items found in Burgos's locker at the Border Patrol station were also presented. Can you identify some of the objects that are in there? Uh, we have some condoms, we have some um, deodorant, flashlight, some ammo, issued ammo by BP. Christmas card, I believe. Oh, birthday card. Thank you. On Friday, the defense is expected to cross-examine Escamilla. For KGNS News, Alex Cano. Just a reminder, KGNS is live streaming the trial in its entirety on our YouTube channel at KGNS-TV, as well as our website, KGNS.TV. You can also scan the QR code you see there on your screen to be taken directly there.